Should I become a designer, a front-end engineer, a back-end engineer, or an AI engineer going forward? I think there is scope for all of these roles, but all of these roles are going to take a major shift. So let me compare how I am working as a software engineer in 2025 compared to what I was doing in 2023. I'm going to be very honest about this in this video. So stay tuned till the end. So in 2022-23, while I was coding at Microsoft, I used to do most of the things myself. Of course, I had to search things online. I had to search things on Stack Overflow and so on. Reading documentations is something that we'll always have to do, right? But now I'm seeing that most of my code, say 70-75% of my code nowadays, at least in the last part of the last couple of months, I'm able to use AI to write it. But is it actually just doing everything on its own? Absolutely not. I'm having to tell it exactly what to do. I'm having to review the code. I'm having to debug the issues because it's not always able to find out the bugs and fix it by itself. And in fact, it actually introduces a lot more bugs than what I would while I was writing the code. So there are very simple uh, issues that it cannot resolve on its own. But then there are certain things that I might not know that the foundation for which it's able to write quickly than when I would have to go read the documentation for a day and then implement it. So is AI helping me? Yes. But am I replaced by AI? I don't think so. Because without me, I don't think AI would be able to build the systems on its own. And there are a lot of other things in these top tech companies that we ourselves have to do. So certain things like designing architecture, how the UX should look like, how the system design for this application should look like, how I should implement the code in the right way. So AI is going to be an assistant that can do the smaller things for me faster. It is more like an intern who I can tell, hey, go build this button, go build this small functionality for me and do this small things for me. It can do that really well, but it cannot architect really well as well. That is why you should now pivot your career and start learning things in depth. And that's where Complete Frontend comes in and you have landed in the right place. So go check out our tutorials and I hope you get to learn things in depth in Frontend in this channel.